A vaccine needs to be safe, a vaccine needs to be effective, but a vaccine that's 100% effective, but that we can't make quickly in large doses and then get those doses all across the world isn't much of a vaccine. So if we think about how long we would take to build our manufacturing network, typically that would be a two to three year process. We shrank it down to about five months, which I thought was borderline impossible. Because vaccines are injected into people's bodies, they have to be manufactured under extraordinary sterile conditions in dedicated facilities. You can't just take like an old flu factory and turn it into a COVID factory. You have to build and design for the product you're working on. We engaged three manufacturing sites in the US and two manufacturing sites in Europe and they are working full stop. So it's gigantic, the effort that is needed. So we took the plasma DNA from St. Louis, we sent it to Andover, Massachusetts. We formulated the actual mRNA, and we needed to send it to two sites that had the ability to formulate the lipid nanoparticle, then mRNA, but also had the sterile fill finish capacity. So we selected Kalamazoo, Michigan, and Poor's Belgium what goes through my mind as a supply chain guy, right? Of course, you're worried about, do you have the ingredients, all the raw materials that are necessary? Do you have enough colleagues that are able to be trained and focus on this? Some of the equipment that we're using for the vaccine has never been designed before, never been built before. So you can imagine all the things that could go wrong. Mm -hmm. 